Hello everybody. I just want to let you guys uh, know what's actually going on out here. You're reading a lot about stuff, but you don't really know what's going on because there's not too many people that are telling you people what's going on. Well, I want to show you something. I'm at a big grocery warehouse. You can see this is just a little tiny section of it. It's called McLean Foods here in Battleboro, North Carolina. It's a big food supplier place. I want you to see all these trucks that are sitting here waiting in line. Okay? May not seem like a whole lot of trucks right now. There's a lot more around the corner here that you can't see. Right around that corner. And there's a lot more sitting up front waiting to get in here. These guys have been here since 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon because they had a 2 o'clock appointment to get in to deliver this food. And here it is, 4.35 Eastern time, and they're still sitting here. I got a four o'clock appointment to deliver my frozen food. They're saying I may not get out of here till eight, nine o'clock tonight. So let me ask you people this. Would you want to do this? Would you want to sit here and wait? Your food's getting delayed, people. And I promise you, the people inside here that's unloading this stuff, they're going to put in their eight hour shift and they're going to go home. And they don't care. They don't care that we're lined up. They don't care if we ever get out of here. I got two more stops on here I'm supposed to deliver yet this evening. Chances are pretty good that I'm not going to make it. Because I got a thing called a logbook that's going to run out of time. I got a little clock in there. The federal government says I, I'm limited on how much time I can work. So guess what? I probably won't get unloaded tonight. I hope I do. But I probably won't. And if I don't get unloaded tonight, I can't get reloaded tomorrow. And if I can't get reloaded tomorrow, I may not make it home. So... You think it's uh, you think it's all hunky dory out here? It's not. I see your little thank you notes out there. Thank you, Mr. Truck Driver. Thank you very much. We appreciate what you do. Forgive me if I'm not doing a tap dance, tap tap dance, people. But I really don't believe it. I don't believe none of it. To me, it's just words. You want to know why? Last week we were zeros to you. Last week you people could care less about us. This week, now that your stores or your shelves are empty. Now we're your heroes. This is going to be over with. It's going to be over with soon. Then what's it going to be like afterwards? It's going to be right back the way it was. We're going to be nothing but a bunch of dirt bags in your way. Because the most most of you don't really care. You put them things up to make yourself feel better. What are you doing to make us feel better? I don't see anybody out here doing anything. Now I've had some people suggest some things. Those are awesome suggestions. I believe those people are probably out there doing exactly what they're saying. Because I know a few of these people, and they're great people. So, we're not feeling the love. Do you guys know that there's truck drivers out here that they're not even allowed to use basic human comforts like a bathroom? Do you know there's truck drivers out here that can't even get a cup of coffee? They can't even get a hot meal? Because the governors of the state they're in panicked, closed all the bars and restaurants. Well, guess what's in truck stops? Restaurants. Some of these restaurants have drive throughs so they just shut the whole restaurant down. Only thing you can use is drive through We're truck drivers. Do you honestly think that we can get this in a drive through Oh, we can, but we're going to mess up a lot of things. So since we don't have a car, guess what? They won't serve us because we don't have a car. Okay, so what do we get to eat? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Beef jerky, potato chips, candy bars. Two-week-old hamburger that's been sitting in a sitting in the refrigerator there at that gas station or truck stop. It's been sitting there for two weeks. Yeah. Let me ask you folks. Would you feel the love? Well, you're sitting down and you're having your meal tonight. Sitting in your comfortable home watching your comfortable TV. Let me ask you something. Do you want to eat a microwave hamburger that's been sitting in the cooler for a week or two? Do you want to eat beef jerky and potato chips? Now, if you say yes, good for you. Go down to your local gas station and have at it. For me, I'd like to have a hot meal. After I've done work a 14-hour day, I want to be able to sit down and have a, at least a hot meal. Even if that hot meal is just as simple as a cheeseburger and some hot french fries. At least something a little warm in my belly. But guess what? There's people out here, they're not getting it. 
You see what you're subject to? You see those things down there in the distance? Those are called porta potties. Yeah, that's right. We have to work. We have to use porta potties because you know what? We're not allowed to use bathrooms. Oh, we're your heroes, all right. We're delivering your food. We've got people behind the scenes in our trucking companies that are busting their butts around the clock to keep these trucks loaded, to keep us rolling, to get this food to your wherever it is you 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 shop at. Okay. If you think I'm the only one here, and those of us sitting behind the steering wheel, that we're the only ones, there's a lot of people working behind the scenes. Are you showing them some love? No. You could care less. They're insignificant. So forgive me again if I'm not going to do a tap dance when you put up these little thanks for Facebook saying, hey, thank you, Mr. Truck Driver, because it's just empty words to me. They're meaningless. If you really care about us, if you really, really care about us, email the president. Contact your governor, your representatives. Tell them, say, hey, lift up some of these draconian regulations you got going on right now and let these truck drivers have a hot meal. Let these truck drivers have a place to go to use the bathroom. I mean, come on. We're being treated like we're freaking animals. Animals get treated better than we do. At least an animal has a place to poop in the pee. We don't. Unless we want to go in a porta potty. You want to poop and pee in a porta potty all the time? If you do, get on out here. Use them. No, you won't. Yeah, them porter potties are nasty and they're disgusting. Most of them really are. But guess what? We're forced to use them because we have nothing else. It's either that or we act like a freaking dog and poop in the grass. So am I a little upset and bitter about all this? Yeah, you bet you I am. I am. Because most of you people out there are ungrateful and you don't care about us. Again, this week... As long as your store shelves are going to get full, we are your heroes. But next week or the week after or when this thing ends, it's going to end soon. It's going to be right the way it was. You guys ain't going to care about us. We're going to be just low-life individuals. But as long as we have the crap that you don't need on our trader, that's all that matters to you. For those of you that do care about us and that are helping us right now, I can honestly speak for the rest of us professional drivers out here. My brothers and sisters out here, we thank you tremendously. We do appreciate the hard work that you're doing for us, really. And I know there's a lot of people out there that is help, trying to help us truck drivers. And we are grateful for it. But you folks that are doing that, you are just a, a just a small, small, minute minority. The, the, the rest of these people that are putting these thanks up, they're just putting it up to make themselves feel better. Because I ain't feeling the love. Ask any truck driver you know if they're feeling the love. No, we're not feeling the love. Ask our bosses, the small companies that we work for, ask them if they're feeling the love. They're going to laugh at you and say, there ain't no love here. So folks, for those of you that are supporting us and helping us, bottom of my heart, thank you very much. The rest of you are just giving lip service and putting crap up to make yourself feel better. I can say this from the bottom of my heart, and I can speak for the rest of my brothers and sisters out here. You can kiss my ass. We just assume you just walk on by because we don't really care what you think. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And if you think I'm being a whiner, okay, fine. Here's this beautiful truck. You're more than welcome to get into it. Do what I do. You want your food? Get in this thing. Travel across the country, fill your fill your grocery store up. If you think I'm whining, I dare you to try it. <laughs> Half of you people out there couldn't even find a bathroom, your bathroom with a freaking road map. So let us do our jobs, but allow us to get a hot meal and allow us to have a basic creature comforts like a bathroom. Please. That's all we're asking. Do you think that's too much? I don't. Everybody be safe out there. God bless.